Hello everybody, Jimmy is Puma here back again with another awesome video. And in today's video, we will be talking about four important Bluetooth settings that's on your Samsung Galaxy Note 9. If you are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy is Promo and you own a Samsung Galaxy device, make sure you guys hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified of future videos. And don't forget about that playlist tab on the very top where you're able to check out all the different videos that I've uploaded so far into the playlist for the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Just so you guys know, my goal for this video is that hopefully one or two of these settings is brand new for you. If not, then hopefully maybe two or three of these was a refresh because you might have forgot about these features that were in the past phones. Now, also before we talk about the four different settings, I do want to show you two different ways of interacting with your quick settings. The first one is by pressing and holding on the icon itself. It takes you into the full detailed page where you're able to make a change to anything and everything for that setting. Now, the other way you're able to interact with it is a smaller version, a condensed version where you tap on the word and it'll be in a smaller form factor where you're able to make some changes extremely quick. Now, one of the other cool things that you might not have known about is that when you do toggle on and off some of these settings, especially the flashlight, if you actually tap on the word, you are able to change the intensity of how bright that flashlight is. So some of you might know about that, some of you might not. Now, if you are one of those people that only play with the icons and you toggle them on or off or you press and hold, don't worry about it. Not everybody knows that you are able to actually touch on the words below it to do a quick setting. The first Bluetooth setting that we will be talking about today is called Media Volume Sync. And just for the record, the Bluetooth speaker that's right over here is called the LifeProof AQ9. If this is something that you are interested in, I will place a link below the video for this. It's pretty nice. It's really rugged. It's perfect for outdoors. You also have a clip to attach to backpacks and everything else. Um, and also, this is one of those things that does work with the Media Volume Sync. So on the very top right hand side of your Bluetooth settings, you have an option for more options. This is where you're able to hit on the option of Advanced. And inside of here, you have this option here called Media Volume volume sync. Now you are able to turn this on, you're able to turn it off. Here's the quick little tutorial of exactly what this is or a quick explanation. When you tap on those words, it'll give you the longer explanation of exactly what is happening. So when you do turn this on, what'll happen is that as you change the volume of the speaker, it also changes the volume of the phone. So originally when you have this one turned off, they are two separate volume controllers, meaning you can have your speaker at its highest maximum volume, or you can have the speaker at its maybe be 50% volume, but you're able to still change the volume of your phone. So let's say that we go over into an application. I'm going to use the Samsung music application. We're going to head over into the song here. Let's hit on play. And so now what's going to happen is if I was to turn the volume down, you can see that my phone volume is still going to be the same. Um, but I can go over here and change the volume of the speaker. So as you can see, the speaker is getting louder, but you have no volume control showing on the phone. What I mean by that is, first off, let me turn down the speaker. I'm going to turn down the phone. And if you do turn on this setting for the first time, make sure you turn you turn those two down because what will happen is when you go inside of here, you go to the very top. Let's say you turn on the media volume sync. You see how it turned up just a little bit? That's because it's going with the volume of the speaker. So now what's going to happen is you have one control that is controlling both of them. Meaning, if I was to use the speaker to change the volume of the speaker, it's also changing the volume of the phone. So they're now one in the same. Again, same thing here. If I change the volume of the phone, obviously it'll turn up the sound of the speaker. So that is what the media volume sync is. It's a way to sync the volume level set on the connected Bluetooth devices to your phone. Now, out of these two options, which one do I use? I usually have the media volume sync turned off because I want to independently control the volume between my phone as well as the speaker because maybe this speaker sounds great when this one's at 80%, but then I turn up the volume all the way on the phone. And so that right there kind of sounds great to me. But if you're somebody who loves the media volume sync, you can turn it on and go for it. Bluetooth setting number two is called separate app sound. And this one is my favorite Bluetooth setting on the Galaxy Note 9. And if it's not yours already, it'll soon become your favorite Bluetooth setting setting. Now you want to pull down the notifications panel, click on the settings icon. You are able to search separate app sound on the top if you want to, but I'm going to manually show you where it is just so you know where it's located. Now it's going to be underneath sounds and vibrations. You'll scroll all the way down to where it says separate app sound. And underneath here, this is where you're able to toggle it on. So what will happen is it's a way that you're able to have sounds come from two different applications coming from a different source, meaning you can actually have the application of YouTube um, or really any other application that's on your device that would be coming out of the audio device. So it'll come from your phone. Now, if you wanted to set this one up that you know for a fact you're always connected to a specific Bluetooth speaker with Spotify, you can set it up that way. 
For me, this makes it super easy because anytime that my son is in the backseat of my car and he's always watching YouTube, it's going to come from the device. And if I am Bluetooth to my car's audio system and I'm listening to Amazon Music, it's not going to interfere with each other. So this is where you're able to turn it on. This is where you're able to choose the app and also where the audio is coming from. So as example, let's say that we move over into the Samsung Music and we're going to go right on back and play that song again. So now what is happening is I have it coming out of the media, which is my LifeProof AQ9. And that is where that audio is coming from. And if I was to head over into YouTube, and let's say that we just choose on this very first video. So now you can see that the audio is coming from the phone. And so this is where you can also change where your, some of your audio comes from, where you can also expand it. So if you do want to control one of these ones manually, um, just hit on your volume button, hit on that down arrow. This is where you can change the volume of your media, which is the uh, life proof speaker. This is over here is where you're able to change the media for YouTube. So that is how you can make that one louder. And then you can also make this one louder as well too. So this is just a perfect win-win situation for anybody if maybe they're in a car, maybe they're at work. So if you are at work and you're listening to Spotify or um, Amazon Music and then somebody messages you on Snapchat or something like that, it's a way to kind of keep away a lot of the outside noises, especially if you watch YouTube or Snapchat or something, um, but you don't want to have that audio come over a speaker that's at your work. So separate app sound is fantastic. It's amazing. Perfect for you personally and especially people that have kids. The third Bluetooth setting that we will be talking about today is called dual Bluetooth audio. Now this is a way that you're able to connect to two different Bluetooth devices at the exact same time, even if they are completely different companies. But one of the things I do want to make sure is that if you are using the Bluetooth version of 4.1, you want this one to also be 4.1 or 4.2, 4.2, 5.0, 5.0. Because if you have speakers that are completely different Bluetooth versions, they might be maybe a half of a second off. Now what you do want to do is first off, just connect to your first device. Right after that, turn on your second Bluetooth device and just put it into a pairing mode. You'll be able to scan it and you're able to connect to two different Bluetooth speakers at the exact same time. Now, once you have done that, let's say that we want to head over and let's play a song. So right now it's actually connected to really only one that it's going to play the audio from, which is this one right over here. So for the sake of this, I'll just turn it down a little bit. So right now it's connected to the Onantuo S7. Now, if I want it to be also connected to this one, this is where you head over inside of your Bluetooth settings. Inside of here on the very top right hand side, go back to advanced. And this is where you turn on dual audio. And now it's playing out of both speakers at the exact same time. Now, the one of the things I do want to let you know is that when you are playing with this one here, let me turn this back down. When you are playing with dual audio, don't have dual audio on first and then play the song. It's best to have it being connected if you play the song first and then you turn on the dual audio. For some reason, it has a little bit better connection while doing that. Bluetooth setting number four is called Location Bluetooth Unlock or AKA Smart Unlock. So how you're able to turn this on is by pulling down the notifications panel, click on the settings icon, and it will be located underneath lock screen. Now this is where you have the option here for smart lock. And if you do have a lock screen in your device, which you should, then you do have to type in your credentials to get inside of the settings. Once inside the options of smart lock is on body detection, which I wouldn't really use that one. You also have trusted places where you're able to have it located maybe at your work or at home. Home. I would especially do the one for home or even better yet and easier yet, do it as a trusted device. So this way, if you are connected to maybe your smartwatch, if you're connected to a Bluetooth speaker, if you're connected to your car Bluetooth audio system, then your phone will be automatically unlocked for you. Meaning you're around something or some place that is trusted. So you're at home. Why would you need a lock screen on your device? There's really no need if you're married, you have a wife, kids, husband, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever have you, you really don't need to have this thing locked, even especially in your car if you drive a lot and you're by yourself. You don't need that lock screen on, taking your eyes away from the road if you had to unlock your device. If you're already connected to your Bluetooth audio system in the vehicle, it's already unlocked for you. Now this helps me out a lot when I'm connected to my headset when I'm at the gym. If I'm at the gym, I don't need to keep on unlocking my phone. I'm able to just swipe and it gets inside. So as example, let's say we do it with the LifeProof AQ9. Yes, you will be adding it and it is already connected. Now this way, when I hit on that power button and I give a little bit of a swipe, you can see here that says phone unlocked by smart lock and I'm able to get in my phone. There's no reason to have a lock screen right now if I'm the really the only one in the room or a family member or loved one is also in the same room with me. They're not really going to go through my stuff. 
Now, let's say that we go on back and you go head over into the lock screen. This is where you want to head back to that smart lock. And let's say maybe you don't know why your phone is unlocking all the time at home, um, but you have a, a lock screen on your device. It's because either your location or the Bluetooth smart lock is turned on. When that notification popped up instantly at the very beginning, you might have actually hit yes but you didn't know why it was unlocking by itself. So if this kind of sounds like a story of you where you don't want your phone to always unlock when you're at home or at the office, or if you're connected to some type of Bluetooth and you don't know what is going on, check out your trusted devices. See if there's one in here that you're able to remove as a trusted device. Maybe check to see if your trusted locations or places is turned on um, or anything else. So this is one of those where you're able to turn it on, or if you accidentally turned it on, this is a place you're able to turn it off. But you know what? If you're with loved ones, you might as well have this thing unlocked, keep it easy for you. Um, and this time, if you're in your car or at home, you're able to just give a small, simple swipe and you're in. Hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit on subscribe. If you have not subscribed, it's that little red circle on the very bottom left hand side. Share this video with your friends and family and social media sites. And outside of that, I'll see you guys later.